this video, we're gonna go over some of the options for hosting your videos for your online courses. We're gonna go through all of the various options. We're gonna go from a, a free option and then we're gonna start at the top and work our way down as far as cost and features of these various video platforms. I'm gonna talk a lot of, of di about a lot of different video platforms. So I'm gonna have links in the video description down below for them and I'm gonna try to dimensify and make this stuff make sense to you. We'll talk about video security. We'll talk about the pros and the cons of these various solutions so that you could choose the one that works best for you and the online courses that you have and this is going to be opened up to a discussion just comment down below if you have any good or bad experiences with any of these platforms or if you have any better suggestions because we definitely want to make sure we make the right choice with where to host our videos for our online courses hey if you're new here my name is adam wpcrafter.com and i want to encourage you to subscribe and click on that notification bell and you have a lot of content about creating online courses including full tutorials and i'll put a link to that down below as well let's start with the free one we're going to start at the free and then we're going to go up and work our way down so the free version obviously is youtube now this is actually not a good idea to host your videos for your course and that's because whenever you watch a youtube video i'm just on their trending tab right now uh, so let's click on this little nas video right here i'm going to pause it so this is what the player experience looks like for your students and at any time they can hover and then they can click right here and then it will take them over to the video on YouTube whether you have it unlisted or not this is not a good solution because they can get those URLs it's kind of unprofessional in my opinion however if you're offering a free course you could do this yeah you totally could do this but if it's a paid course something someone paid for I would strongly recommend against it it really stinks though because I love YouTube hosting uh, for, I, mean, I love the way YouTube hosts the videos and how fast it loads and all that. It's just you have all the branding and then at the end of the video, there might be uh, suggestions for other videos. It's definitely unprofessional, not what you'd want. Okay, now we're going to jump up to the top and work our way down. And so we're going to take a look at Video Video Cipher. Now, this is a very secure video video platform so what happens is if you have your videos hosted here they're embedded on your website no one's going to be able to download those videos there's nothing they're going to be able to do other than use a screen recorder so it's going to give you secure videos i i don't use this service by the way but i have seen it and i've come across it it's very very fast as well in the delivery but you pay a premium for it so let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing here so you can see uh the these prices are for a year a year remember i'm starting at the top and i'm working my way down okay so uh 99 a year you're probably going to be on one of this plan right here the 499 but you've got to look at some of the limitations and the big one for me on this one is you get 1.5 terabytes of bandwidth for the entire year but that's very fast bandwidth lightning quick bandwidth which means the videos are going to load really fast but that's a bit low in in my book for i think an online course because people are going through these videos and so you'll have a single person maybe consume 40 or 50 videos and you get 200 gigabytes of storage that's actually not that bad okay so this is starting out high uh okay so ne let's take a look at the next option is wistia now wistia has got a great website i mean she's really showing off her moves here but wistia is probably better for videos that are marketing and you want all the tracking and analytics and all that kind of stuff i wouldn't recommend wistia and uh, for online course videos let's take a look at the cost of wistia they have a free plan uh it's not what you would want you would want to be probably on the pro or the advanced so the pro plan is 100 bucks a month this is actually more than video cipher i should have put this one first and that only lets you have 10 videos and then it's 25 cents per month per additional video so it's going to get up there pretty quick i just had to bring it up it comes up and this is uh why i included it in this video now the next video solution is probably going to be that perfect sweet spot for most people and that is vimeo vimeo has it's kind of like youtube in that you can have a free account and you can put your videos there but they have 
professional accounts that give you a certain level of security so you're going to be able to lock the videos down where they'll only be able to pl be played on your domain name now they don't provide video encryption and so what that means is someone can easily use a web browser extension that can download media that's playing on a page and just download your videos they don't offer any security but they do offer domain security and most people are not going to use one of those extensions, but you you do need to be aware of that. Now, Vimeo has several plans available, and they're right here. Now, the sad thing is, is the Plus plan would be I actually ideal for most scenarios, and that's right here, and it's only seven bucks a month billed annually. However, if you read the terms of use they don't want you on this plan if you're actually selling access to the videos kind of stinks right now still people do that and they probably get away with it just fine uh, but you you to be on the safe side you really need to be on the pro plan unfortunately now they have very generous amounts of storage and bandwidth so bandwidth is actually unlimited so where we looked at the first option it was there was a limit and some of the ones we're going to look at in a bit have limits as well theirs is unlimited so what you are limited to is you can only upload 20 gigabytes of video content let me tell you per week sorry per week and that totals one terabyte per year but let me tell you right now that is a ton so uh, you're gonna be uh, paying this fee per year and there's some some uh, features here and you can compare them to these various plans you really would ideally would love to be on the plus plan but you're gonna be forced on the pro plan to play it on the safe side uh, so um, Vimeo is a really good option and the reason it's a good option is it's a mainstream video host and so uh, if you're using, say, LearnDash, LearnDash has kind of an integration with Vimeo for their video progression feature. What that means is you can enable this feature. Well, there's several features around it, but I'll just tell you one where if the student's watching the video, the video gets to the end, it can automatically mark the lesson as complete and then take the student to the next lesson in the course. That's actually a very cool feature. So, uh, but this is what you're going to be paying for it. So the pros are that there's, you can upload the, pretty much as much content as you want. Unlimited bandwidth. You get some player customization options. I don't think they're great. I'd prefer what Wistia gives you. You don't get encryption of your video so someone can easily download it if they were motivated enough to do it. Just to be um, aware of. Oh, this is also nice right here. You get 4K and HDR support. Okay, moving on. So the next option is going to be what I've used since 2014. So that's a long time. I've been paying for this the, on their annual plan, and it's VooPlayer. And VooPlayer is really good for videos you want to use for marketing purposes, but also for online courses. They provide a lot of interesting features for courses that I like. You can set it to remember where the student left off in the video. So if someone watches half your video, they leave and they come back, it can resume where they left off. I really like that. You get a lot of player customization options. You get to uh, increase the playback speed. You get to chapter marking. It's just feature after feature after feature. But what's really amazing and very unique about them is they also provide that HLS encryption. What that means is no one's gonna be able to just download your video with a web browser uh, extension. They're just not gonna be able to do it. So you can read through this page. Um, uh, you basically upload your video to them. They encode it into some different formats and then you have a player customizations so you can you can import the settings from a prior video you might have uploaded so you can keep that consistent style across the board and then you get an embed code and you can just drop that embed code right in on your course it's really good and then it comes with analytics for it so this is actually a really good solution now uh, there's some stuff with it as well that I'm going to tell you about in a moment so you can go through these various features but what they have a very unique thing with is the security features right here 
advanced HLS encryption. So that's kind of what I like about it. Now, there are a million features in VooPlayer. It's pretty vast and pretty extensive. I'm gonna show you inside VooPlayer really quick. Uh, here is their pricing. I know right now, if you visit the link that I have in the video description or go to wpcrafter.com slash VooPlayer, it's gonna take you to a special offer for Voo Player. It's a lifetime offer, and they offer them once or twice a year. Uh, it's gonna be uh, kind of similar to this startup plan. I have the enterprise plan myself, and that's what I've had for so long. It gives you all the features. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Actually, here, let me, let's take a look at it. Here's what it looks like inside, but now let me tell you some of the personal experiences I've had with VooPlayer. Um, first of all, I've had some complaints from people and that complaint is usually buffering. Um, it's not often, but it's often enough that I am a little worried <laughs> at times. So most people don't complain because there's people that don't complain. And if someone's super motivated enough to send in a message, then uh, there is a problem going on with buffering. Now, I've never felt that Voo players had the best support and maybe it's because they have to deal with a lot of support requests. So with that buffering issue, I asked them and then they said I have to transcode my video in a certain way, but I thought I've been using this for, for years, uploading the video, they do a transcoding on it. So there's some weird stuff like that. I have had issues and the service has gone down maybe once a year for like an hour or two. Um, but other than that, it, you can't, compare, you, you can't come close to the value you get and that HLS encryption. So anyways, you upload your video, here is a video and you get unbelievable options. The player, uh, customization options in, in the settings here. The player is very modern, there's two different skins and this is one skin. Actually, about three years ago, I suggested they make a skin like this. It was a feature suggestion from me and they actually made it. So uh, anyway, so you can go here, yeah, you can have full control over the appearance and style. You get when you hover over uh, the timeline here, you can get the little preview thumbnail image. It's just amazing all the stuff that it does. Drop your custom thumbnail, you can overlay a custom logo. For player controls right here, you can hide the controls, disable pause. I mean, just what you can do is amazing, uh, the options. I love that you can do the playback speed, but it can show it here so someone doesn't have to dig in a menu like you do with the other players. I can just click here and it increases the playback speed. People really like that. Uh, skip and rewind options. This is really cool. You can add a, a 15 second skip forward or backward for your students. It just makes it a lot easier for them. And then we have some advanced options right here. I use a preload video. So as soon as someone lands on the lesson page, it starts preloading the video. Smart playback, you can limit the playbacks. And this is what I like, auto resume detection right here. I use this. And then we have marketing tools. Uh, conversion stuff here so you can add tags all kinds of interesting stuff here it's a very powerful tool and I wish there I, I wish I felt confident that I could upload a video here and it's going to work flawlessly for everyone but sadly that has not been my experience but for me it's kind of I'm conflicted I don't want to stop using Voo Player because I like all of the features and I pay them a couple hundred bucks a year to use the service but I think the reliability is kind of like a 90 out of a hundred uh, so I really want to be in that hundred space okay I found a new option that I'm testing right now and I'm actually kind of impressed with it. And it's called, I can't even pronounce it right, Pubalito. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so Pubalito, they're on AppSumo right now and this is their second time, so I don't know if they're gonna keep coming back or whatever. You can get a lifetime account, so this is gonna be your money saver option. And I'm gonna show you how you would get this video inside of WordPress right now. I'm gonna click on view plans and more codes. So you can, with a single purchase of $49, it's a lifetime account, you get 100 gigabytes of storage, which is massive. There were limits on Voo Player, by the way. So right here for 62 bucks a month, um, it was 100 gigabytes of storage, okay? Um, okay, let me get back into Pubalito. Here it is. And if you wanted that increased, you buy a second code or a third code or up to like five or 10 codes or whatever. That gives you 500 gigabytes of bandwidth 
You can upload uh, as many files. There's no limit on that. It's just your storage is the only limit. You can have different player styles that you can assign to videos. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can do something really interesting, which is play an ad in front of your video. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. It's pretty interesting. A thought would be if you had a new course coming out, someone's in an existing course, you might want to show a promotion um, in front of the video. It's kind of like when you, if you use any streaming service, I use HBO Go. Whenever I watch anything, there's just a little video about some other free thing that I can access on their platform, which is pretty good. Um, out of this, I ended up buying this right here, the three codes, which gave me 300 gigs of storage and 1.5 terabytes of bandwidth monthly. Remember when I was looking over here at Video Cipher, I thought, ah, 1.5 terabytes of bandwidth annually. Well, here I am at Pubalito paying 147 bucks one time and I get that monthly right here. So when you scroll down, there's other options here to buy more codes for more storage and more bandwidth. Um, and here's tons of reviews for it. Those are all like really good. Like this is the best deal I've ever bought, blah, blah, blah. Now you can store a lot more with Pubalito images, PDF files, all kinds of stuff like that. But you, um, uh, I'm only making this in regards to video. So here's actually uh, their website right here and you can look through some of the options of Pubalito. Uh, so they are gonna talk about on the fly transformations. One of the things I like about this and I was testing it, I uploaded a video and it automatically transcoded it into various formats. So when someone's watching my video, they can change the resolution as they want it and it can be optimized for them. This is a feature I guess they can automatically add a watermark to a video. I did not test that. But this is what is very interesting as well. Fast and reliable delivery. And this is something I'm not getting from Voo Player right now. And that's because it's delivered via their content delivery network by default. And I've noticed it's quite fast. Okay, so here is my Pubalito account. I only had one video I uploaded. Like I said, I'm testing it. And this is a video I made a few months ago about a little error I bumped into in the Astra theme. I like to just shoot a video and send it to them so they can see exactly what I'm experiencing. So here's my video. I uploaded it. You just click on Upload Files, and then there it is. You can organize them in media folders. I kind of like this file manager type of feel. Let me go in here and click on edit so you can see some of the options that I have. So I can change names of it and all that kind of stuff. I can tag my content, add the watermarks, add a custom thumbnail. I did not do that and you're gonna see when I put it in a Learn Dash course that I didn't add that. And here's some control over the player as well. Okay, so what you do is then you also go in here where it says players and you create your player and this is going to give you some kind of options so let me see if this lets me edit okay so this is the gray skin and your options are basic ones of the over the controls for autoplay control bar all that kind of stuff so you'll get to see i'm using this uh, players settings okay so here i am on inside of wordpress here i actually already did that let me delete it okay so they have a plugin so you go to plugins add new do a search for pubalito install it and then it's going to be here you just copy and paste your api key in and then what you do is in any lesson or any part of your wordpress website where there's gutenberg there's a gutenberg block so if i do slash oh let me go right here slash like this and uh, you can start typing Pubalito and there it is it's the first one right here and when I click on it it's going to show this to me select a file so I can click right here and it's going to show me all of my files I'll choose the one I want or I can search and then you hit the three dots and you choose insert player and then it just goes ahead and inserts it let me click on update so you can see I didn't put the, the thumbnail image to make it look real professional you definitely want to put a thumbnail image for sure. Okay, I'm gonna go here and this is what it looks like inside a Learn Dash lesson. It's just perfectly right here. Nice and big and it's simple. Let me push play, but then let me go down here and mute it. So the player isn't as tricked out and custom looking as you get with Voo Player at all. So when I hover over it, we just have play pause, we have volume, we do have the playhead here and I like it when I, I uh, go through it like this. You can see the little thumbnail of it. I really like that. And if you notice, when I click play, it loaded immediately. And then right here, when someone hovers over the little wheel, 
there's an option to change the resolution and also go full screen so this is what you do here now you do have domain security uh, so this is something I mentioned on Vimeo uh, let's see uh, it's one in one of the settings here maybe something like that I forget off the top of my head um, where is it domain security there it is domain level protection it's right here so if I only wanted this video file to be able to be played on certain URLs I can just toggle this on and it's just going to work for me that is pretty awesome uh, now what it does not have is that HLS encryption that we saw over here with VooPlayer and they kind of have like the market cornered on this you can't touch the price you pay for VooPlayer and have it include that type of encryption so a web browser extension you're not going to be able to download it Sadly though, with Pubilito, you will be able to, but it's the same thing with Vimeo, it's the same thing with YouTube, it's the same thing with all of these, or most of these tools, Wistia included, it's very easy to download the video, and you might not want that if you're a course creator. However, someone's gotta be super motivated to do that. It's up to you. So if you super need that video security, and you have the budget for it, your options, your first option is going to be this. This is going to be the creme de la creme video cipher. You're not going to have the speed and reliability issues I've had with VooPlayer. However, if you need to do it and you're a little bit more price conscious, there is no option that's better than VooPlayer. But just know that sometimes I have run into issues with VooPlayer, but you also get some amazing options in the video player. And then if you're on a budget, you could, if you had a free video, you could use YouTube, a free free course, use YouTube, but you might be better off springing for something like Pubilito, and I'm sure things like this pop up. Obviously, it's here, and this is only gonna last two or three weeks longer, uh, this deal right here, and I have a link to it down below. I'd appreciate it if you use it. That is a referral link. Doesn't cost you anything extra. But I've gotta say, I am impressed with Pubilito. Um, the options that it has because you can very affordably get the storage space and the bandwidth per month and it's super easy to use you saw you just upload your video and you saw how easy it is to integrate it with with WordPress and especially inside of your lessons with their Gutenberg block I mean that was really easy to do and I have different player options and stuff like that uh, so I really like Pubilito. I think it's going to be a great option for a lot of people. And that's why I wanted to make this video right now uh, versus some other time. So anyways, I'm going to have links to everything in the video description box down below, um, all these links. But I want to open up the conversation. I want to hear what experience you've had with maybe some of these tools and what you think down below. But remember, like I said, Vimeo might be that perfect sweet spot for a lot of people because it's already natively integrated with some of these learning management systems. You have an annual cost of 240 or 260, I think it was 240, whatever, 240 bucks a year. But you just have to remember, you're always gonna have to pay for that because you stop paying, now you're, you don't have a host for your videos. So anyways, I just wanted to present lots of different options for every different price point, for every different user, present the options and let you choose and you decide. I'm still debating what I'm gonna do. I'm using VooPlayer, but the reliability has been troublesome for me. I'm still debating on what I want to do, uh, but I wanted to share these with you. So hey, if you found value in this video, I hope I just kind of cut your research time down to nothing. Uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. I love to hear from you in the comment section down below. If you're a course creator and you want content like this pushed out to you, remember subscribe, click on that notification bell that supports the channel here. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Can't wait to see you in the next one.